Plus, let's say it's the last session and she doesn't have cash. I mean, I like to give people the benefit of the, of the doubt, but you never know. They're just going to, you know, dick you and not pay you. Yeah. So I said, okay, well, I'm I guess I can have some electronic footprint in case anything goes awry. So I decided to sign up for it, and I just took payment through Venmo. And ever since then, I just try to use it as often as I can. Yeah, it's not, super easy. It's super easy. I mean, I'm not trying to evangelize it, but it. I just use it in my day-to-day. -day, you know, someone wants to buy me food. Yeah. They charge me, or I'm buying them, I charge them. Yeah. Really convenient for day-to-day -day spending. So one of the... Uh, uh one of the <coughs> most popular ways to use Venmo is to split roommate rent. So how do you guys split rent? Do you guys use Venmo or what app do you guys use? So actually, where I currently live, we, uh, we're we fortunate enough to have uh, an online payment. Uh, we're fortunate enough to have an online payment system for our apartment. Uh -huh. So that's not an issue. Oh, nice. But uh, from my past experience, we used it for mostly bills. Uh -huh. So not rent, but utilities, oh. which is a great way for me to collect them because, you know, you got to collect when you're collecting things like, you know, very specific amounts, you mm -hmm. know, rent is fixed, like, you know, 500 or 400, but with utilities, you're always having some it's weird number, different. like, you know, yeah. 2177 or 3821, 25. It's like, you can't expect someone to have exact change. Mm -hmm. So Venmo came in handy for that. And that's what we used it for. Just, you know, just charging and then. Sending payments through, yeah. through Venmo. No worry about counting pennies. No worries about, oh, is the person going to be home when I give him the money? Yeah. Give him the share of the rent or the utilities. So it just made things made life a lot easier. Yeah. And uh, I think we touched in a little bit on why you wanted to try it. Mm -hmm. And you use it in everyday life. Yeah. So, uh, but what's your, or who are your most common peers that you send money to? Mostly my friends and my girlfriend. Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much the people yeah, I send it to. Simple, you know? Yeah, simple. That's what's great about it. It's not complicated. You know, it's your day to day. Your friends and your partner, friends, family, and you know, partners. Mm -hmm. It's the best. That's that's as, it's so embedded in your day to day. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so I want to talk about like the convenience about Venmo since it's super convenient. Does it mm -hmm. discount community? Because when it's so easy, do you like? Uh, do you, do you value, like, the friends and relationships that you have? But it's, um, do, you, um, do you, like, understand that? Like, just... I I mean, yeah, it's not very... I don't really have a good word for it, so I'll just say it's not very intimate. Yeah. Like other yeah. social media platforms can be. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you have to understand context. It's a practical tool. Yeah. I mean, like, things like Facebook and Twitter, they're meant for being social. Mm -hmm. versus Venmo has a social component, but yeah. that's not the uh, the main point of the product. The main point of the product is to make payment easier. Mm -hmm. And they yeah. achieve that for sure. Right, just like PayPal. Like PayPal has absolutely no social system, mm -hmm. but it is, you know, it is strictly for business. Strictly for business, and Venmo is strictly for, you know, managing money between friends, mm -hmm. you know, small transactions. And I think it does it well. Oh, yeah. Um, can we go to that site, actually? Sure. There's uh, this uh, strategic CSR. Yeah, let me pop that up. That's uh, what I was trying to get at. Okay, let's go over here. I'll put this in the show notes below if you're listening. So, yeah, right here. Okay. So, this basically means, or this this article that I'm showing right now mm -hmm. is... Huh. <laughs> Let me pause this for a second. Right. Alrighty, so we are back, and uh, here on the website that we're at, so there's a quote in there that I want to touch on. It was debt or debt was a sign of trust. You knew, uh, knew you knew you would see that person again, and they would behave fairly. Money was used by the military and the soldiers passing through who could not be trusted so it was just a way to keep accountability and yeah. with venmo it takes money or physical money out of that question so do you think that venmo and the convenience is discounting the uh the credibility and of people like well maybe a little but to be honest i never really had that concern because again it's not a social product. 
Mm-hmm. It has has features. Social components. Social yeah. components has social features, but it's not a social product. And you know, if you compare it to like Facebook or Twitter, which have done a lot worse, to yeah, <laughs> ruin yeah. our human uh, trust and human relations. Uh, oh, like Reddit or Reddit. Fortune. Oh my goodness. But yeah, obviously, uh, not to get too sidetracked. Yeah. That, but, um, I could see where it comes from. Mm-hmm. There's a point there. I mean, it's a minor thing, but sometimes that little minor rapport you build with your uh, vendor or you build with someone you're selling something to, it does does make things kind of nice. Mm-hmm. You know, having a pleasant human interaction is great, even if it's like a small, limited kind of interaction and you'll never see that person again. I think it's great. I mean, like when I, <clears throat> I remember when I bought a computer, I was paying in cash. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I don't like having, you know, a lot of money in my hand outside in public. Yeah. But... I remember when I visited and checked out the computer, I was, you know, only spending maybe 20 minutes on the computer, but I, I was just hanging out with the guy for like two hours. We were yeah. just talking about our mutual interests. And then, um, you know, it it paid off. Like, he was in touch with me, he showed me all the details, and we were just, you know, joking around, talking about, you know, what we're doing and stuff like that, how our day was going. And, yeah, I'm probably never going to see him again. He's probably never going to see me again, and that's fine. But it's still a positive human experience. And I think Venmo does subtract from that. Mm-hmm. Especially from your friends. I mean, like, sometimes with your friends, when you owe someone money or they owe you money, you can joke around, like, all right, man, are you going to pay me up? You know, it's like, wow, it's about time you paid me. Yeah. It's like kind of funny, like, hey, bro, that extra penny counts, you know, just it to does, just mess it with really him. It really does. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, I guess there's, there's an argument to be made. Yeah. But personally, I don't think it's too much of an issue but what, what yeah. do you think do you think it was kind of an issue or um yeah because or more specifically on this part of it it talks okay. about uh so the quote says when i first moved to san francisco i told my mother i was considering hiring someone from TaskRabbit, a service that allows people to bid or to bid to do your odd jobs right to me to help me hang curtains and <clears throat> assemble flat pack furniture but her reaction was but isn't that what our neighbors are for? Yeah. Before Uber, it would be <clears throat> kind of it would be a kind of offer to drop somebody off at the airport. Recently, a friend was confused when he was asked to drive a classmate to the departure hall and wondered if she'd heard of a ride uh, hail service. Sharing. Yeah, ride sharing service that could take her there. Actually, but, that, that's a good point. Now, I didn't yeah, think since that it's way. so like convenient that. We just discount. or like, oh, I don't want right. to. I don't want to <clears throat> drive you. Um, I think. It's, why don't you just take an Uber? You know. Yeah, I actually, I remember talking about this um, with a friend a few years ago. Is that these products are making our lives more convenient, but that's that's not necessarily making our lives better. Yeah, it's not actually <clears throat> letting us value like right. the connections. You know. Like, oh yeah. We could definitely. We could have done this like via Skype or something. Yeah, but, but we, showed I, up in yeah, we showed up in person and it's way better. I got to see <clears throat> the computer that you were talking about yeah. and how awesome it is. So uh-huh. yeah, like it's just it's a totally a different uh, way of communicating. Right, you know? right. And I remember even like when I was very low, I guess like in the late nineties, I just remember, you know, my parents would go out and the neighbors which we were close with they said okay I yeah, will watch your kids so they'd yeah. watch me and my brother or like the dad would come over watch us or we'd go over to hit their house you know we'd play with their kids yeah you know so it was it was great it was bonding we'd you know we'd go out meet the neighbors, together, meet the neighbors a lot of community a lot of community we would go out to dinner like us you know us, me and my, my, my family and their family mm-hmm. uh, we even stayed in touch to this day sometimes I mean yeah. like, you know because they're we were very we got close, really close very yeah. close to them yeah now, I mean, you know, no one talks to their neighbors anymore. Like, we can say yeah, hi. That's weird, dude. Yeah, it's so hard to believe. You gotta have neighbors come over. <laughs> yeah, if, if you if I if you went over to your apartment yeah. right over there and you said, "Hey, I live right across the street," they'd look at you like, "What? What are you? What are you okay? Doing? I'm calling the cops." You yeah, know? Like, it's just not. It's so weird that like. You know? Yeah, I remember my dad telling me because when he was in, you know, he grew, he was growing up in like the seventies and eighties. Like he just knew people in your complex. Yeah, like he was like, oh yeah, I had this neighbor. Oh, I, you know, this is a, you know, it's a girl I dated back in, you know, she lived like two doors down from me. Yeah, and now it's just like, oh, well, I saw this person on an app. Yeah, it's it's very different. It is very different. It's so, but I mean, I don't know. That, that's the price we pay. You know, yeah. you want that convenience, you're gonna have to sacrifice some of that uh, human connection. Yeah, but I mean, there's always time to just uh, yeah the old school way. Always is, man. I mean, there it's always there. If you, it's it's always going to be there. 
Because yeah. the apps are always will be there too, but yeah. you can delete them whenever you want and oh, just yeah. meet some new friends the old way. So right, right. Because yeah. as long as everyone's going to miss it, so yeah. there's reason for it to be there. So yeah, it's just a very interesting how all these tech companies are trying to capitalize on mm -hmm. our interactions. Um, right. I mean, there is a benefit. I'm not, I don't want to. Yeah, be like there's a, there's a benefit, but convenience. Yeah, yeah, and I don't want to be a luddite about this stuff. I mean, yeah, this stuff does bring. It does help people. Yeah, it helps people. I mean, look, your day to day, like I'm trying, like let's say you're late to work mm -hmm. or you're late to class, you don't want to have to go. I want to run over book, there. Yeah, look up the taxi number, get a taxi. It's like okay, just go to Uber. Yeah, go to Lyft, right there, problem solved. Yeah, you know, it, it does make things. It does make part of your life better mm -hmm. I guess is we have to find that balance it's just yeah it's just a different different game now you know mm -hmm. so yeah that's all I wanted to touch on on this article so okay and uh, let's touch on since, you, since you're a UX right yes design background let's uh, touch on if you want to open the Venmo yeah, app yeah let me pop that up I actually haven't I think used I, it in a while well it's because I, I have to do some refreshing on my phone so but yeah. I think it's all set up for me but yeah, what are just like some things that you that stood out to you? I mean, it's pretty plain. Yeah. I mean that yeah. in a good way. I mean, uh, look, I, it's so tempting when you're a design person to to want to see complexity and you know a lot of elaborate uh, yeah, things going like on. The sugar the, coating, the sugar on top. coating. Yeah, but I mean, it's pretty simple. There are some minor things that are nice, like you know, like, for example, this is very plain and flat. But when mm -hmm. you look at the menu, it has like this nice drop shadow. It looks yeah. kind of papery, and I think it's nice. You know, I think it's not too too much. Um, I do I'm like, pull it up. yeah, I do like the navigation. It's so navigation. simple. Like, sorry, my Wi-Fi is a bit. Or yeah, you can uh, just like a mine. Okay. You can just play around with that. Yeah, it looks really nice. Yeah, like if we go to let's say. Right over here, we That's can see the, the history. world. Yeah, look at all the emojis. It's simple. It's a simple feat. It's no name on it. You know, there's no like, yeah. oh, look at what your friends are doing. It's like you can kind of figure this out. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, they got some little jokes on there. Thieving, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thieving. They got some pizzas. Lots pizzas. of pizzas. Yeah, so yeah that's, that's actually pizza. I think one of the most uh, popular emojis: pizzas and rent. Yeah, stuff for oh for being cute. Yeah, it, um, yeah, it's just having fun, you know. Yeah, they know they're uh, they're target demographic for sure oh yeah it's pretty youthful. like millennials millennials yeah, yeah. people just, under 30 people under 30 uh, snakes uh, a laptop noodle <laughs> orchard food yeah <laughs> are you crunk <laughs> stuff like that yeah you know it's fun i don't even know these people dude but i don't either you yeah. can look at a global setting but yeah but yeah that's just super simple super easy it is yeah, I mean, yeah. it's very very simple um, I think that I, I think that's kind of why it worked. It's a good example of why you, how UX is such, has a big impact on the success of your product. Mm -hmm. It's simple. I mean, it's not too complicated because it's so tempting to uh, just try to put it, make it all like spruce it up with a nice special effects and yeah. you know cool looking designs. And that, yeah, there's a place for that, but. You know, people are when people are trying to manage their money, they just want to manage their money. Yeah. They don't want any gizmo feature. They just want to be able to okay, I want to pay someone or I need to get paid. Yeah. You know. It's like exactly. going to the doctor. You don't want to be it's not uh, they don't want to poke around. Like, right. Like if you're going to if you're going to the doctor to see your foot, you don't want them to like look at your shoulder. Look at you your know? shoulder or like say, So how is everything going? How is oh. everything going? Let's yeah. literally go through everything. Yeah. You know? well, look, that's, I came from yeah, you know? I came from my foot, look at my foot. Yeah, you know, like that's it, and that's what Venmo is doing. They uh, they're they're taking the uh, the peer to peer bill splitting and right. sharing, right. and yeah, they're making it super simple. They are, and they're focusing on that foot. You know, they are, and all the other things. And they're also uh, because they're not going too all out, yeah. like you know, like an app like Instagram or Snapchat, or whatever. Is that because thing is crazy? It's crazy, and the reason that I like that they don't do that is. They still know that even though their audience is millennials and the millennials are quirky, they have their emojis and their own little subculture. They still understand that no matter what age you are, money is kind of serious. Yeah, it's and you want you want to respect like they show in the app that they respect that. Mm -hmm. Look, we're going to make it easy for you. We have a reporting system. We take this seriously. Uh, we're not, you know, square. We're not squares. Not to sound mm -hmm. like from the fifties, but we're not squares. But at the same time, we understand this is money, and we want to make sure you're having a safe experience with this. Mm -hmm. You know that you're 
you know, if there's any concern about fraud, let us know. We're not like, we're like, oh, bro, you got fraud. Like, no, 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 no.